Hi, everyone. Okay, let's provide the solution to this problem. X plus 2y equals then as equation 1. Then x squared plus y equals 20 as our equation 2. Now, what I want to do is to make to make y the subject of the formula from equation 2. Okay? So, from equation 2, y is equal to 20 minus x squared. Let's call this our equation 3. Right? Now, put this back into equation 2. Put this into equation 1 rather so we put this into equation 1 because it is equation 2 that bettered equation 3 so in place of y in equation 1 I'll put 20 minus x squared and this is equal to 10 remember this is equation 1 and y in the equation 1 now is 20 minus x. Okay, so we open the bracket. We have x plus 40 minus 2x squared equals 10. If we open the bracket, and then what do we do? Let's write this one first. So we write minus 2x squared plus x plus 40. If we bring this to the other side, it becomes minus 10. Then everything is equal to 0, meaning there's nothing on the right-hand side anymore. Now let's look into this again. We wrote this first, followed by this. 40 came, 40 came down, and then we brought 10 to the left, so it became minus 10, and it is now equal to 0. So we have minus 2x squared plus x plus 30 is equal to 0. Now, this is what I want to do. I have to multiply both sides by negative 1 so that this will become 2x squared. This will turn to negative, negative x, negative x, and it's, this will turn to negative 30 then we have 0. Now, we want to solve this problem right here. So, what method do we use? Let's use the formula method where we have x is equal to, this is a quadratic equation. So, we use x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2 times a. So, now, our x will now be, remember the coefficient of minus, of x is minus 1. So minus minus will turn to plus, so I have plus 1. Plus or minus, b squared will now be minus 1 squared, but in brackets. Then minus 4 times a is 2. Then times minus 30, because c is minus 30. Then we divide by 2 times what? 2. Because a is equal to 2. Remember, a is the coefficient of x squared. So if we take a step further, x will be 1 plus or minus. 1 squared is 1. Minus 1 squared is still 1. Minus minus is plus. Then we have 4 times 2, that is 8. Then 8 multiply by 30, that is 240. Okay, then everything is over 4. So if we take a step further, we are going to have x to be 1 plus or minus square root of 245 as we divide both sides by 4. Okay, so now x is 1 
plus or minus square root of 245 is 49 times 5. Then we divide by 4. I brought 49 out because it is um, a perfect square. Okay, so now x is equal to 1 plus or minus. We have 49. Square root of 49 is um, 7. Then we have square root of 5. All of this is over 4, right? So that if we proceed, x will be equal to 1 plus square root of 7 root four, seven root 5 over 4 or 1 minus 7 root 5 over what? Over 4. But remember that we are also to have another value. Okay, another value. Remember, we had x and y in the equation. So go back to your equation 3, where we have y equals, y equals, we have, um, okay, 20 minus x squared, right? So now let's work with this first value of x, so that y will now be equal to 20 minus open bracket 1 plus 7 root 5 over 4 all squared okay because of the square right here so that's why will now be 20 minus 1 plus 7 root 5 over 4 multiplied by 1 plus 7 root 5 over 4. So let's multiply this and get our y. So y will now be 20 minus, we will still open the bracket, so let's multiply this. 1 times 1, that is 1. 1 times this, that will be 7 root 5. Then this multiplied by this, we have plus 7 root 5. Then this times this, that will give us plus 49, right? We have 49 multiplied by 5. So all of that will be divided by 16. That is 4 times 4. So let's continue now. If we go ahead, y will be equal to 20 minus upon this bracket right then we have 1 plus 7 root 5 plus 7 root 5 is 14 14 root 5 then plus 49 times 5 that will give us um 245 right 245 so that everything there will be equal to will be over 16 now, if we continue from here, y is going to be 20 minus the square root of, remember the whole of this, okay, we can simplify this plus that, but we, we should write 14 root 5 first, then plus 246, so that all of this will be divided by 16. This is divided by 16. So, if you do not want to continue processing this, you can stop here and say when y is equal to this, here is the value of x. Okay, I hope you can see that. Okay, when x is this, our y is equal to this. Now, to get the other value of y, remember that our y is equal to 20 minus x squared. And this time around, y will be 20 minus open bracket x is, um, now I want to pick this value of x, which is 1 minus 7, minus 7 root 5 over 4 squared, because that's a square on the x. Now y will now be 20 minus open bracket, we have 1 minus 7 root 5 over 4 okay so we have this 
to multiply the same thing, 1 minus 7 root 5 over 4. So if we multiply this, what do we have? We're going to have y to be 20 minus, let's try to simplify this like we did before. 1 times 1 is 1, then this times this is minus 7 root 5. Then this times this is another minus 7 root 5. Then this times this is plus, because negative negative is positive. Then 7 times 7 is 49. Then root 5 times root 5 is 5. So we multiply this by 5. Remember, everything here is divided by 16. So that if we go ahead, y will be 20 minus open bracket. We have um, we have to multiply this. So we have 1 minus, put these two together. So we get 14 root 5. Then plus 245. As we divide all of this by 16, now our y will be what? 20 minus open bracket, we have 1. Okay, by the way, this and this will be added. So before then, let me write this before this. So we have 246, okay, minus, this is minus 14, root 5. Okay, then everything is divided by 16. If we want to proceed, we can, but let's stop here so that the video will not be too lengthy. So when y is equal to this, do you know what the value of x is? Okay, here we have the value of x. So this is the value of x for this value of y. Thank you for watching.